Patty Dixon with Dr. PRP USA. Today we're going to talk about cleaning your automatic injection unit. You're going to want to clean the suction port in between every patient and you're also going to want to clean not only the hand piece with a cavity wipe or steri wipes or some sort of a germicidal wipe. you're also going to want to clean every part of the console that's exposed to air. So to clean the injection port, you're going to want to use the syringe that comes with your unit with the germicidal fluid inside. You'll put the lure slip tip inside the port. You'll turn your machine on. You'll turn the vacuum on and suction out some of the fluid. As you can see, I have about 10 cc's of cleaning fluid in the filter at the back. This will allow you to clean in between four to five patients at the end of the day. You can either remove this and put it in your bio waste and get a new filter, or you can dispose of this properly if you have the means and sterilize this and reuse it. If you have the proper means of disposal and you choose to reuse, reuse your filters, you're going to want to replace the cotton filter with a fresh piece of cotton after you've sterilized. And replace. Now that we've cleaned the inner workings and the suction port, we're gonna to wanna to be sure we wipe everything down properly. So you'll use a sanitation wipe, whatever your medical grade sanitation wipe is. You'll wipe down. This will go into sanitation fluid and you'll sanitize that and clean that. You'll wipe down every part of the gun. It should not have any debris on it, but in the effect, in the instance that it does get anything on it, you'll clean it properly. All the way down to the core because that can sometimes cross the patient as you're working with the patient. And it's just good practice. Making sure that you get 100% of what you are gonna to touch clean. And I would do this in between each patient. I would do it at the end of the day, and I would do it at the beginning of the day. Especially the screen. 